In today's video, I wanted to do an update to how I organize my tools. So I guess this is a handy woman's what's in my bag video. And I just want to preface that for electrical jobs and plumbing jobs, if I do get booked for those, I don't bring all these things necessarily. I definitely kind of tweak it here and there. I remove a lot of things so it's not as heavy. 90% of the things that I bring for every job is the same. I have my level here, just the regular torpedo level. And then with the level, I like to put my mini hammer next to it. Next to those two things, I bring a just one chisel and one six-in-one screwdriver. I'm gonna stack everything around here so that that's around there tight. And then I also bring this, which is really useful. It's a 37 ratcheting screwdriver bit set. So I put that in its own little pocket so it kind of stays flat. And then we have the wrenches. I have a channel locks, adjustable wrench, pliers, needle nose pliers, and then all four of these things I put on in this area. And believe it or not, I don't really use this. Channel locks is pretty much what I use for getting anything out, but every once in a while I'll need needle nose pliers and an adjustable wrench. So I have that on there. The Klein's wire strippers voltage tester pen, and I put that in on the other side. Carpenter's pencil, two lead pencils, a Sharpie, and then I also have this in case I need to mark tile and this is like a dry erase pen. Box cutter, you saw me change the blade on this on a video. My drill, I just keep the battery on there. Fully charged extra battery. The wall is so great, like the batteries last forever, it's amazing. Silicone and nail decks. I'm gonna put these little tube-like chemicals in one slot. I've been bringing my spackling, my premium spackling as well jewelry case of all kinds of things screws bolts drywall anchors in different sizes wood dowels i also got my lamp that i love and i have some extra sandpaper and i have drywall drill bits some other bigger anchors allen wrenches wire nuts and electrical screws I have yet to open, some extra batteries. This whole thing actually fits perfectly in my tool bag, just like on the side like this. My newest addition, my beautiful DeWalt drill bit set in all kinds of sizes. So I also bring that with me on every job. Tape measure. What is this called? Stud finder. So I put that on the side here. And masking tape. What do I really use the masking tape for? Just a bunch of things, I guess, to kind of fasten my laser level little cube that I have. I also always bring a little notepad if I have to write out a list of things that the client asked me to do so I don't forget. And I just stick both of them in this side pocket area. So I have this little card that I use to scoop up the premium spackling. So I stick that in here because I definitely need it for application. This Allen wrench for garbage disposals, really, really tiny flathead screwdriver kit to fix your eyeglasses, but it just has these really, really tiny Phillips and flathead screwdrivers that are that can come very, very handy when you're repairing doorknobs. And then I have my little square. Square, you just plug this into your headphone jack of your phone. And for the device, you don't have to pay anything, but when you run a credit card transaction, I think there's a 2% charge. So if you're a small business, totally recommend. So I keep that with me now that I have more clients off the app. Eflon, for plumbing jobs, I just always bring it to jobs now. During these COVID times, you gotta make sure you have a bunch of gloves. As a courtesy to my clients, and also because I don't wanna take off my shoes in a client's house, my feet might stink. Shoe guards. I also bring a bunch of my business cards. And why are they in Ziploc bags? They are in Ziploc bags because these are COVID times and if the client wants to sanitize it, they can just sanitize right over the Ziploc bag. Their job is done and they are a brand new client. I give them my business card so they can hire me directly for the next time. Safety goggles, safety first. You don't want to do what I did months ago where I was drilling into something and the drill bit broke and it hit me right in the eyebrow and I could have gone blind. I should have been wearing my safety goggles. Always bring at least one towel and that's so that 
when I lay out my tools to start working, I put all of my tools onto a flat towel. And then I have a second towel just in case like if it's a painting job and I have the paint, the can of paint on one towel. And then if I need to wipe off like any mistakes I make, this is good to have. These tighter gloves that I've mentioned because I decided to keep these because they're thick and heavy duty. So I like to wear one side with these or these where it's a little bit tighter fit. So I like to keep these on the side here. I have my little sweeping broom thing so I can clean up my messes. If I can't find a trash can close by, then I'll just sweep it all up and scoop, put it in here and then just vacuum it when I get home. And then for a furniture assembly job, I would also bring this, my knee pads, my rounded edge knee pads from Husky. But I actually don't have a furniture assembly job till Sunday, so I'm gonna keep that out. In this little duffel here, I just like to bring extra things that I might need but won't necessarily be obvious that it'll be needed for this particular job. So I'll have wood glue just in case. A regular size hammer, paintbrush, because I don't always need my paintbrush, but tomorrow I will definitely need it. Cabinet spray. And then I also like to just keep my masonry bit inside this duffel here in case. And I also have the clamp that I stick in here. Oh, scissors. Always essential to have scissors. Lastly, I bring my DeWalt charger, not in my tool bag, so that if unexpectedly the job becomes a very long one then i can run to the car and start charging the second battery yeah that pretty much covers how i organize all of my tools and what i actually bring to every job as of september of 2020 and i'm sure as we move on and move forward everything will change but for right now this is what it looks like it is quite heavy to bring around so i do carry everything on my dolly milwaukee i don't know how much this was can hold 150 pounds it says on the back <laughs> i did not know that so i like to carry that and i kind of stick my ladder on top of it if i feel like i might need it for that particular job i post videos twice a week every week one a talking head video like this one and the second one usually on the weekend that i upload will be a vlog of what i did that week kind of jobs that i went on wherever I took my dogs, getting tested, things like that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. As I said, subscribe if you're interested and I will see you in my next video. Peace. Let me turn dish camera on. Oh, uh-oh. Hey, hold on. I got my COVID results. <laughs>